This year, I'm going to be doing a short for each of the controllers that is on the controller wall, a brief backstory of how it came into my possession, but a lot of the modern ones were sent for review, a lot of the retro ones I found on eBay or thrift stores, and a lot of them have a unique story, and I'd love to give some close-up footage and show off some of the quirks and features, but today we're talking about Ebony and Ivory. One of my all-time favorite paddle designs on Xbox controllers, I love the adjustable tension on the thumbsticks, battery life is insane, they are underestimating what's on the box. Also, cosmetically, a gorgeous controller. As for the white version, the core, the first two that I received had stick drift right out of the box. This is now the third unit, works absolutely perfect. This has some white generic thumbsticks I found on Amazon. I also painted the magnetic D-pad white, then scuffed it to give it the look of patterned Stormtrooper armor. On the backside, we have Scuff's aftermarket offering for paddles. Painted the bottom two gloss black and the top two gloss white. Three coats of base and primer, and then two coats of gloss clear to seal everything up. I also tattered the back paddles to give that tattered Stormtrooper armor look. This by no means is the end of this controller's customization, actually just the beginning.